Hello Tech Skiers, in less than six months during COVID-19 pandemic, I have appeared in recruiter searches more than 1,600 times and received more than 80 in my messages from recruiters, headhunters, human resources from different tech companies across the globe, offering me lead position as an SRE Cloud DevOps engineer. In today's video, which is episode one of LinkedIn series, I'm going to share with you how I constructed, structured, optimized and made my LinkedIn profile strength reach an all-star rating, passing the beginner, the intermediate, the advanced, the expert and read all-star, which is the last level of LinkedIn profile strength, which made my profile to be optimized for success. So I will share with you seven tips to optimize your LinkedIn profile as a tech pro and achieve an all-star rating and start to appear on top of recruiter searches and receive emails from them. On top of that, at the end of the video, I will drop bonus tips of having the perfect settings which will boost your LinkedIn optimization opportunity and start to ski in the tech world. Welcome back to the Taxi Mastery, your channel, my channel, with Ben, the tech content creator based here in Dublin, Ireland. My goal with this channel is to provide tech career resources whereby I'll be sharing streams, knowledge, int ops, leadership, and lifestyle in tech so that you'll be able to ski in the tech world without limitations or boundaries. Let me start by saying recruiters and hiring managers, it will be difficult for them to find you without complete and fully optimized LinkedIn profile. According to LinkedIn, profiles with an all-star rating are 27 times more likely to be found in searches. Your LinkedIn profile is the first you know, impression you make on your uh, future employer uh, as a tech engineer. So it is important that your profile is complete and interesting you know i want you to know your linkedin profile is definitely your first and can be your last chance you know to make a positive impression online so it's a combination of a marketing pitch a personal introduction a business card a personal statement and a list of recommendations and a teeny website so without wasting much of time let's dive in in the tips tip number one profile photo I want you to know that human beings process visual images much faster than the text. They do this in many seconds. So if your first impression is poor one, you have got a little chance to recover. So get the best photographer you can for professional photo to drop on LinkedIn. That is the first thing that I did. So if you can't pay a pro, get the background appropriate, make the lighting good, get the clothes and the hair right and smile so according to linkedin you know adding a profile photo makes your profile seven times more likely to be found in searches another thing that i want you to know is using wrong type of photo can be even worse than you know having no photo at all so avoid photos with pets kids with friends and family and anything that could be considered as unsuitable for for business remember you know linkedin is a professional networking site for business so use photo that you know reflects a professional business image. Profiles with no photo are recognized as incomplete and are less likely you know, to be viewed and you will not have you know, the all-star profile which we need you know, for your profile to rank on top while recruiters are you know, busy looking for you know, someone with your skill. Tip number two, construct a telling headline. You, you have a headline beside your name on LinkedIn. <laughs> the reason why it's named headline is because it appears at the top and it's what recruiters, headhunters, human resources see and read first. So make it count, you know, write a superior headline. Don't just, you know, use your job title. Include, you know, the areas of expertise of which you wish to be known and found in searches. Keep it in mind that you are trying, you know, to reach to people who don't know who you are. So do your base, you know, on your headline. For example, you are a recruiter might be looking for an SRE or a DevOps or a cloud engineer. And if you are that engineer and you don't drop SRE, DevOps or cloud engineer words in your profile headline, forget it. They will not easily find you. 
So another point that I need you to know is you can put in the headline with the job title you are going after for. For example, you are a systems engineer or a software engineer, but you have learned DevOps culture methodologies and tools now looking for a role, you know, as a DevOps engineer. So it's a good time, you know, to drop that, you know, title on your headline. Please don't put aspiring in there, you know. You have taken the DevOps or the programming course and done some practical projects, you know, and, have confidence in your skills. More importantly, give the recruiters confidence that you are a great candidate. Don't build your own blocking walls or buyers or roadblocks. Also, be sure to include the industry you work in, you know, and your geographic location under the headline as well. So it's very important to do that. Tip number three, construct complete summer section of your profile. The LinkedIn summer section is the next most important part of your profile behind the headline. So it gives you 2,000 characters, just imagine, to work with. So the summer section of your LinkedIn profile is your professional elevator pitch. Your summer should expand on what appears in your headline, you know, highlighting your uh, specialties, career experience, net worth, and thought leadership. This is where you really sell yourself, you know, to potential connection, recruiters, company, you know, human resources. So it is a way, you know, to describe who you are, what you do, what you've done, what you are passionate about, and what makes you unique. This is also, you know, a great place to list all your tech skills and take advantage of optimization opportunity. Make your summary you know, personal you know, and conversational. Tell stories and paint a, a picture of yourself, but remember to keep it professional. Tip number four, build on current position and previous work history. LinkedIn said that having your two most recent position makes your profile 12 times more more likely to be found in searches. Wow, you might not include every job in your past from your resume, but it is appropriate you know, to include your entire work history on LinkedIn. Again, no issues of your job experience. A short description, you know, is good enough here. So one or two sentences. Remember, recruiters go through tons of candidates. They don't have enough time to, 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 to read all of the details. So use case method, keep it short, and simple. Since it is not a resume, don't go overboard with previous work history details. A, a simple summary and some top accomplishments should be good enough. For example, a DevOps engineer, you just said, my role is to build, test, and maintain the infrastructure and tools to allow for the speedy development and release of software. I also provide proactive monitoring of the production environment. And then you just list the technologies used, Kubernetes for container orchestration, Ansible for configuration management, AWS for public cloud, and Python and Bash for scripting and automation, etc, etc. So another critical thing you need to remember on this section is that it's important that your resume matches your profile because potential employers, you know, will definitely do the cross check. So make sure they sync. Tip number five. Add skills and expertise. Oh yes, this is the bonanza advantage, power edge benefit. The skills and the expertise section of a LinkedIn profile gives you an opportunity to show specific and detailed areas of your expertise. Please <laughs> know that you can add and remove skills from the skills and the investment section on your profile page, which means you have the power of maintaining you know your relevant list of skills on your profile which will help you know us and recruiters to understand your strength and match you with the right opportunities also not that you can add up to 50 skills you know to your profile so please do take advantage of that also not that not including skills on your profile will cause your profile to be incomplete and your profile will not reach the level of an all-star profile so that it will reach on top of the sage tip number six include your education details <laughs> Don't forget to include education details in your profile. Add the higher education schools you attended, degrees received, specialization awards, and any details that are relevant to your professional 
profile. <laughs> this is a nice to have just to fill it out. You know, don't uh, have to be super fancy here. For me, I'd rather have it than, you know, to, you know, again, think keywords optimization. List all the certification, the tools, the frameworks you have learned on the license and certification section this is great if you are starting your career in a way you don't have you know much work experience but you've worked on certification listing your projects will help you to fill in that void and gap and give your profile a bit more completeness uh, not including you know education details on your profile will cause your profile to be incomplete and your profile will not reach the level of an all-star profile tip number seven get connected linkedin requires you to have at least 50 or more connections in order to achieve a completed profile but they have made it very easy to find and add people to your network you can easily upload your contacts from the outlook hotmail gmail etc etc by logging into your personal email and seeing who is the linkedin profile also you can browse profiles of your co-workers former co-workers and college classmates one piece of often ignored advice you should follow is to be sure to write a personal message when you send out invitations to connect try to give some context you know to your association as well bonus tips having the perfect settings and career interest turned on so all right let's dive in in the perfect settings here you just want to make sure you have the perfect settings so recruiters and headhunters can actually find you so let me show you how to do that in few seconds okay so you go to me and then click me you go to settings and privacy and from there we go to visibility and then from visibility we go to edit your public profile we should be here you see your your profile's public visibility uh it should be on it should not be off because when it is off all your information like your headline your summary everything your details your education your certification they'll be off like you see they're not they're great which means they're off but if you turn it on all this will be green will be sure 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 everything is sure so which means that when someone searches for you you can appear like in google searches and also on linkedin searches that's it for this part guys another bonus tip that i have for you and that the big one don't forget to turn on your career interest then drop the title of jobs you are looking for and the location let me share with you in few seconds career interest this is the last tip that i have for you guys you just go on your private dashboard and then you click here open to work you know click here and then under job titles you can add let's say for example cloud engineer so we now and then job location i can add like bavaria and then i can add another location let's say island so i add my location and then i'm open to remote work it you, you tick and start that can flexible i'm casually browsing um, and then you just feel that so when you feel that like uh, the type of job that you're looking full-time contract part-time and then you just click full-time it is full-time and then you just click here and you see here it's private only to recruiters but if you click here it will be now open to everyone but we just want to target recruiters only so you click here and if you want to learn more about this you can just click here and you learn more about that and then you save your chains uh, see all that we have now so job titles job locations i'm looking in Bavaria, start dead and then job types remote all this and it's only recruiters it's open to work this is smart guys this is the last tip that i have for you congratulations you now have an all-star profile now your profile will start to appear on top of recruiter searches and your inbox will be full with update regarding new opportunities as a tech pro so don't forget i know to proofread before saving any new changes as always keep on skiing in the tech world